Okay, take two. I messed up take one. Uh, basically, cheat engine. Uh, basically, if you want to keep updating your SG Automatic Replay Viewer, Mao isn't doing it because uh, it keeps changing basically every beta update. So I just made. I just wanted to make this video, and because the beta is going to go on for like an entire year, it's not really worth it. Uh, I just wanted to make a video to show how to pe show people how to do it. So you will need a couple of things. Obviously, you'll need Skullgirls, uh, Dir. You will need your Automatic Replay Viewer folder that has a couple of files in it. Specifically, we're looking for this file. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, you will need Cheat Engine. Uh, just grab any, get the grab the latest version of Cheat Engine. You'll be fine. Um, and then I'll show people how to use this Cheat Engine stuff. And you will need a couple of file. You will need a couple of references, or uh, you will need one specific value that I can show. Uh, I can put in the description where it is. You need the specific value because otherwise it won't work. So basically, if you want to start SG or you want to look for processes SG, open it, then change this to hex, and then paste a value right here. This value 3f666666. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, six sixes. Uh, I will also have this in the description so you can copy paste it pretty easily. Um, you hit first scan. You look for this green thing right here. Double click it. You'll see, you know, this address right here. Double click the address. You will get this uh, this thing right here. Copy this thing that I've highlighted right here. Copy it. Uh, go to a calculator. I've already done it. So uh, paste this into the hex right here. Uh, I've done it so you can't see it. I'll just do that and then show you. And I've done that. The pr if you go to the programmer edition, uh, programmer version of the Windows 10 calculator, it will just do this for you automatically. You're looking for this decimal file or decimal value right here. And then you don't need change engine anymore. You can close it if you want. Um, uh, don't save, even though you haven't done anything. That's important. Um, I would never save. And then you go to this file right here. You can use it. You can open it with anything. Um, I like Notepad++ because it's easy. And then you're specifically looking for this line right here. Uh, this line right here. SG add key SG menu state value. So this value is what you need to be updating every time the uh, the replay viewer doesn't work anymore. You paste your number here. Oops, you don't do you pay you don't paste that number. You paste this number right here. Paste the dec the decimal number, not the hexadecimal number. And you paste that, and you're saved. Now you can close it. Um, and then after you've closed it, and you've saved it, you open this thing, and I will show that it works. Uh, oops, I should set that to, I don't know, zero, no, um, dot or something. Yeah, that's fine. And then I will do that. And then I'll go here. And then I'll go here. And then I will hit this button. And it works. And I will uh, skip through this. Sorry, I don't care to watch this match. And I will show that it's updating automatically. And it did. So that's pretty much what you're looking for. It's not very complicated. You just need to know the certain tools you're looking for. Um, if you have any questions about it now, you can ask me or ask Mal. Probably easier to ask me. Um, I also don't care about this match. Uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I learned it and I know nothing about Cheat Engine or programming anything really. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So if you have any questions about it, just let me know. And I'll be sure to help you out either on Twitter or Discord or whatever else. Uh, see you around.